Hey guys, Derek Giddings here from the HK Shooting Team, and I want to take a quick moment of your time to show you something new and exciting that uh, maybe you haven't seen before. What I've got in my hands right now is my VP9 long slide set up with the new Aimpoint Acro P2. So some quick things about the Acro P2. Um, it needs the Striker Fired Pistol 9 mount. Uh, I think there's a few of them out there, but my friends at BNT Parts uh, have these in stock and can get you set up with the Acro mount. It fits both the P1 and the P2. So you'll need that plate for your VP9 or your VP9 long slide. Then you can quickly attach your aim point Acro. So let me just give you a quick fly around here. Some quick things I want to point out about uh, just some, some setup features and some things you'll notice on this gun and with this particular setup. I want to draw your attention to the very generous and large window on the Acro P2. It's very similar to the P1. It's a heavy optic. It comes in at about 60 grams. If you'll notice right here, despite you know large window, viewing area like the Trigicon SRO, some people have had or reported ejection problems uh, where the SRO overhangs the ejection port on the VP9 and VP9 long slide. That's not anything to worry about with the Acro P2. It doesn't come anywhere near the uh, ejection area of the spent cartridge. You'll notice too with these factory sights, it is not a co-witness setup. This is not a co-witness setup. So for competition purposes for what I'm doing, I'm not too concerned about that. I got this gun zero today at 25 yards using 115 grain ammunition. I shot about 500 rounds of ammo and despite this extra 60 grams of weight at the back of the gun, I had no malfunctions, no issues to report with the gun whatsoever and it felt very soft and the dot didn't bounce around. It was very easy to track. I also tested 150 grain Syntec ammo, no problem, and some various different forms of 115 grain ammo, absolutely no problem with all kinds of ammunition using this dot setup. Um, so far, uh, zeroing it and just doing some quick draw drills, etc. I noticed it was very easy to zero with minimal adjustment using the aim point tool. Um, very easy to find the dot, much like a Trigicon SRO, and I'm looking forward to getting this into competition here pretty soon and reporting back on uh, just my thoughts as compared to the super duper fast Trigicon SRO. Hope you enjoyed seeing the new Acro P2. As I mentioned earlier, uh, BNT Parts has uh, got plates, I don't know if they're in stock currently, that you'll need for mounting any of the Acro optics and uh, you'll just have to keep your eyes out and find the Acro P2 out there. But BNT Parts has been great for getting stuff like this for the VP9. Don't have any business relationship with them, but you might want to check out BNT Parts. Uh, from all of us at HK, thanks for your support, and we'll see you on the range. Thank you.